<laughs> well, uh, get you and the kiddos ready for some back to school action. Dina is live with an expert learning how to stock up from supplies from home. Hello, Dina. <laughs> yes, good morning. Okay, so I know so many kiddos have gone back to school either last week or this week coming, right? And so, what better way to stock up on your school supplies than not uh. spending any money? Opening your drawers at home and realizing what you already have. And that's exactly what this segment is about this morning. So, we are here with Kim Salisbury of Home Method Co. And she is the most incredible home organizer. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you definitely should start. But, Kim, you're going to talk more about ways to shop in your own home. So, where do families even start with this? You literally start by opening up all the drawers. Yes. You guys, everybody's got school supplies. They're all over your house. Everything that you see here on this table is just stuff I pulled out of my drawers. Yes. It's everything we already had. And when you look at those school supply lists, I promise you, at least half of that stuff is already in your house. Yes, and actually one of our coworkers said, on the school supply list, we needed two packs of markers this mm -hmm. year. Last year we only needed one. <laughs> well, you do it doesn't say two new packs, no, right? You just need to have new. enough supplies to last. And I know that it's not a popular opinion because I know that everybody loves to do shopping and they all love to go buy all the brand new stuff, yeah. but I organize houses. I'm in a different house every single day and every single house I've ever been in has way too many school supplies yeah. because they just, they stock up, they stock up, they bring them home at the end of the year, they go in the drawer. You have so much. Look at all the colored pencils we have. That's a lot. <laughs> we don't need to go buy a new thing of colored okay. pencils. It's fine. Yes, and that's the other thing is when they get stuck in a drawer and then you don't see them every day, that's when you realize you, did, you didn't know you had them but they were there the whole time. So let's talk about how you organized because I like how you separated different utensils based on what they are. Oh, well, this is this is just, I love these dividers. These go in, um, these dividers are actually from Ikea. They go right into my desk drawers. We have the pens and we have crayons and we've got the big markers. We've got pencils. We have colored pencils over here. We have the gel pens and, of course, the, the glue and the tape and the rulers and the calculator and everything that you, everything that you need. And just the point is when you're doing, when you're organizing in a drawer, you always are going to want to have dividers. Mm -hmm. So no matter what that divider looks like, you're going to always want to have dividers. Yes, and I also know, you know how she's a professional organizer? Because not only did she put markers in, she also rearranged them in the rainbow colors. <laughs> well, just these. Just these. I, I mean, I'm not completely crazy, but, you know, I didn't do all of them. But it was late last night. I just did these. Yeah, but that's I did, perfect. You know, and some color. You know, we want to have, you know, one, one drawer full of paper. You know, when, when you, especially when you're talking about the kids' desk drawers, if you can, yeah. if you can have, like, paper in one drawer, pens in one drawer, you know, everything is separated. You want to set your kids up for success, so you want them to be able to just grab everything they need at, just right at their fingertips. Yeah. And yeah. really decluttering their space, and that starts mm -hmm. with the drawers too. And it before does. before we talk more about decluttering, though, mm -hmm. I have to. These are okay. my new favorite. Okay. What exactly these is? These are so fun. This is from a really fun company called MC Squares, which I love. And these are dry erase, so you can. And what's so neat about these? Look, they just peel. You can stick them on any surface. Oh, you wrote that upside down. I That's did. Impressive. <laughs> so look at these. Aren't these so fun? So you have all these dry erase pens, and these are reusable sticky notes. So they're so much better for the environment. So I just love all these. And look at how many there are. They sent me, you know. A ton of them, and I just think these are super fun, and you can stick them anywhere, and you can write on these, and then you just wipe them off with the dry erase pits. Okay, I know, so I, I know, we do, really a, we do, we do these a, too, right here, like those yeah. little boards. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do yeah. a good day list every morning of okay. what's coming up on good day. These are we perfect. need these. Oh, we need I'll send these. You home with that. You can have it. Okay, yeah. we need yeah, this. Okay, Kim, we're out of time, but coming okay. up in the next half hour, we're going to talk more about organizing your kitchen for the kiddos. The snacks need to be in a way that they can actually grab and go because we know they're so busy, mm -hmm. and how to declutter your kids' spaces so that they have a little bit more room just to breathe. Kim, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Of course. We'll have all of Kim's information all on our website, gooddaysacramento.com. Back to you. Excellent. Right. Thanks, Dina. All right.